Hello. In this video, we're going to deal with the header area of the 2011 theme for um, WordPress. So let's just see what that looks like to start with. At the top of the, th this theme, this theme is called 2011. And at the top of this theme is this header. Uh, now it has to be a thousand pixels wide by 288 high so how do we change it all we need to do is go to our dashboard and then look for appearance header click that and here's the page that lets us change everything so what we want to do first when it says upload image here we're going to upload a new image to replace this one and I've already made an image that's 1000 by 288 pixels because if it's not that size it just won't, it won't let you use it as a header so look for appearance, header, then look for upload image click the browse button I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to use this one called bike click the open tag then click upload Here we are, that's the picture we want to use. So I will have to scroll down for the save changes button. There we go. Now we'll go back to our web page. If we refresh the page, and there's there's the image. Simple as that. Right, what else might we want to do? Uh, we might want to remove this header, the, this header image completely. When we've changed it, it'll be in all the pages we've got. So whichever page we click, the header will be, the, the one we chose will be there. But if we if we decide we don't want all that room taken up, we want to have more space to have our text in, all we need to do is go to appearance header again, where we were before. So we go to appearance header. And then if we scroll down, there's a button here that says remove header image. So I'll just click that button that says remove header image and then we'll go and oh, we'll save our change. Don't forget to save changes. If you forget to <laughs> sometimes I think to myself, oh, it hasn't worked, it hasn't worked. That's because I haven't clicked the save changes button. So let's go back to our page. Now it's got the header, but we removed it. So we'll refresh the page and there's no header there at all. Now we can also get rid of this text and that's what we're going to do next. We're going to get rid of the site name and the tagline. So we do it in the same way. We need to go to our dashboard, look for appearance, header, and then all we need to do, the, further down here, if, if you see this display text there, if you click yes, it will show you the site name and the tagline. If you click no, it won't show you the site name or the tagline. So that's all we have to do. Go to appearance, header, look for display text, and then click save changes. And now we'll have a look at our, this is going to disappear now. So we'll refresh the page and it's gone. If we want to, we can have the header, the, the graphic without the text, or the text without the graphic. We'll just put the, the picture back, because you might want to do that. So, we want this one. We've already uploaded that one, so we pick that one, uploaded. You can choose one of your previously uploaded headers here. So, we'll click that and see if that does it for us. There we go. Now we'll go back to our, what we're hoping now, when we click on the refresh the page, there's the picture, but there's no text. So you can choose to have the picture without text, the picture with the site name and the tagline at the top, or just the site name and the tagline and no picture. Well, I hope that's, um, that's made it a bit clearer for you. And I do hope you, you, you enjoy using WordPress. The, the, all these tutorials, the videos, are based on web page tutorials I've got on a web website called using-wordpress.org.
So if you want to find a bit more about what, what the videos are telling you, go to this website using hyphen wordpress.org and you can find out more information. Thanks for watching the video and I do hope you pop back. Bye.